What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun. of the New World Colony, Pleiades V, born ancient Earth year 2135 AD. I'm a genetic moded level 9 human, homo sapien cast, aged 932 galactic standard years. This fragmented memory record may be the only historical document remaining following the great homo sapien purge of 2820. Where do I start? I'll tell you what I know. Homo sapiens, humanity, began on a world called Earth. Following the development of memory downloads and quantum intelligence, Earth people of the mid-21st century learned to sustain their lifespans indefinitely, causing an unparalleled population explosion. Mining colonies were quickly established in the neighboring star systems. Genetic enhancements in men and women bred emotional arrogance. Petty jealousies and small wars followed. By 2137, my mother and I had abandoned the overcrowded Earth to live in the colony Pleiades V. We were the lucky ones. our beloved Earth fostered a power struggle in the local quadrant. During this time, a mysterious race of entities known as the Watchers intervened, enforcing many years of peace. Their gifts to humanity were hyperspatial wormhole gates that negated the temporal problems of relativity. Humanity expanded throughout the galaxy, but as quickly as they arrived, the Watchers vanished. Hyperspace wars erupted everywhere, it was during one of these wars that I barely escaped with my life, while my dearest mother was away fighting for peace. By this time, only two colonies remained, my home, Pleiades V, and the industrial mining colony, Construct Three. This downloaded memory record is a history of my mother, Colonel Mara Schreik, the bravest woman I have ever known. Approach Pattern Epsilon. It's impossible, it's an automated mine. Check your readings. I have them too, Colonel. I think it's an ambush. I've got nothing on visual. This place is going to be clean. I'm getting out. Didn't Gertie fix it? Gertie was killed on the last side. Oh. Deep 
scan online. Wavelength scan alert. Anomalies detected at 337 Mark 4. All wings break off. Arm weapons prepare to engage. Roger, sir. Got nothing on visual. Rob, give me the green. Can you see anything? Wait, there's something coming around. Two marks detected. Class 4, Construct 3, Battle Cruiser. Weapons armament. Barrage laser, pulse cannons. Weapons armed. I can't see anything. Ghost Leader to CC4. We're under attack from two Class 3 battle cruisers. Request hyperspace pickup at 7 decimal 28. Roger, Ghost Leader. All wings, rendezvous 7 decimal 28. about emotional suppression. Losing her entire squad impacted greatly on her in the days to come. It was this guilt that fueled her on when most would have given up. Mara, my mother, was an intolerably lonely woman. The members of her squad were her only friends on board. I've received a disturbing message about the source of this ambush. I'd like to see you in my ready room after the offensive. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Keyless and my mother never saw eye to eye. I learned later that the Admiral's prejudice towards the best colonel in the fleet stemmed back 12 years. Mother was never aware of what lay hidden in her past. I really miss you, Mum. I love you. When you come in here, Mama, she makes it.
Cannot believe the Gravitron waves have pulled the entire fleet out of hyperspace. Must be a planetary anomaly. Don't know much about this Graviton emission wave. Take a visual outside your window. What can you see? Alert. Anomaly detected at 47 Mark 26. Mother had one friend left on board, Corporal Rog Blake Usov, a lowly technician who had risen to his rank through wartime attrition. Though hardly a man worthy of any form of command, Usov had an unusual talent for keeping himself out of harm's way. He was one of the few people Mother trusted with her life. What are you doing? She suspected he was a third stage prophet, but Uso denied any such possibility. The constructs had threatened the galactic quadrant with planet smasher technology for many decades. Using unstable antimatter warheads was considered impossible until one succeeded in destroying the Earth. The success of this act brought the entire quadrant into war. The destruction of Earth was a fluke, a one-off stroke of luck that would never be repeated. As the war progressed over the years, the constructs applied themselves to perfect their antimatter technology. Then one fatal day, they succeeded in perfecting the ultimate destructive weapon. The galaxy would never be the same again. Automated control proceeding to new coordinates. Awaiting orders. On board are Colonel Mara Shrike and Colonel Raj Usol. Their condition is stable.
Mother's only comfort was her addiction to her mind game apparatus. Admits to isolation during the war, Mother had stopped taking her addiction suppression drugs. Occasionally, when under the mind game control, she received strange visions of moments lost to the past. to be launched in 42 hours. Prime target is the home world. Land on SETI Alpha 4 and disable weapon. War Rocket 3 is 22 hours away with my little troop and weapon support. They are home to your personal transponder. Nazul agency suspects Corporal Usul is a double agent. Dispose of him immediately and stop the launch at all costs. Your own life is expendable. Method Boogie. Confidential level 2. Colonel Mara Shrike, eyes only. Nazul agents report and Construct 3 was an industrial world around two-thirds the size of Earth. Though once teeming with life, it possessed an unstable atmosphere. Within a decade, the planet had gone through an accelerated terraform to bring it up to human standards. The escape pod's auto-landing had not worked as well as expected. Each pod doubled as a hyperspace thruster. Emergency rations and supplies were often non-existent, having been stripped for use over the years by a degrading military force. Usul, the traitor, had hidden a small atom slicer pistol on board. Mother had no trouble finding it with a small radiation detector. Central city distance 200 kilometers. Warning, excessive radiation. Time to launch, 41 hours, 35 minutes, 24 seconds. Bio-automation, active. Passive alert mode. Mother experienced the occasional hallucination during the mind game. But on this world, hallucinations came without precedence. I think she surmised that something in the planet's biosphere was causing her mental contusions. Constructs were known to have thick skull cavities through genetic engineering. Originally, the Construct 3 world was established as a medical research colony. 
They were responsible for deactivating the aging gene in humanity, extending human life past the 120 year marker. Their true obsession was with re-engineering humans to create a new species, Homo technus. As a race, they would stop at nothing to achieve their goal. As a result of the harsh terraforming, most of the indigenous K3 life had completely vanished. Being a world of three suns and four moons, it was prone to massive weather variations. The average day could last anywhere between two and 40 hours.
sensor online. Biosignal detected. Bio-automation, combat mode. Many times, Usul had whispered thoughts of improving humanity. Mother took this as intellectual overtures of early romance. Those around Usul suspected otherwise, but Mother would always defend him. How wrong she was. Offline. Offline. Automation, high speed mode. Hyper accelerated running and combat modes would heavily drain my mother's bioelectric boosters. Energy low, energy. She had been fitted with the best military grade dionic body web. But extended use would drain the reserves fast. Energy source, 7.8 kilometers. Great battles were fought in the early days on K3. The Religion War of 2130 saw their first settlements wiped out through hundreds of nuclear strikes. The radioactive plains were said to be haunted with the spirits of the dead who were needlessly slaughtered many years ago, or so Mother believed. The truth was perhaps stranger. The constructs had once fought to destroy all forms of religion. In latter years, they had embraced proto-religious concepts to help propagate their new species. It was hinted amongst the academia that the Watchers were the ones who seeded mankind's genetics in the past. 
Anomalies in the genetic code of humanity indicated somebody had interfered with our evolution. The constructs were opposed to this notion and waged an ideological war against the Watchers. They, not the Watchers, would guide humanity's next step. The constructs would tap huge reserves of power from the ether of the planet's biosphere. Energy nodes littered K3 at regular intervals. This bioelectric power source alluded to the fact that the planet was a living entity. In school, I was taught that the ancient Earth was a living world like this. It was said that following its destruction, the bioelectric energy waves would echo through the quadrant for centuries. Recharging. Unstable power supply.
ions are stable and active. Energy reserves low. Fluid levels low and critical. Medical teams stand by. Where have you been? It's about time. Glad we found you, Colonel. Had a hard time tracking you and staying out of radar range. We got food, water, weapons, and a small platoon of soldiers ready for your assault. Uso's love for my mother was truly deep. As a fleet commander in his own military force, Uso was able to engage six dreadnought vessels to find my mother. The planet's biosphere took its nourishment from its three interrotational suns.
Many times during the planetary year, K3 would enter a heat zone that would raise the equatorial temperatures to inhospitable levels. My mother was caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. The winds were like a blast furnace, searing off the top layers of skin. Living through mother's life would always be a test of my own courage. Had I been her, I would have collapsed in the sand, given up and surrendered. Somehow mother always found the courage to push on. In her unconscious state, Mother communed with the life force of the planet. K3 
was founded as a medical colony, originally because the biosphere promoted a natural form of healing within the human body. This uniqueness was considered lost during the 2130 religion war. Mother was at odds with this strange world, but the world was responding with kindness. The constructs were destroyers of worlds, murderers. Though barely a conscious entity, the planet was now fighting alongside her. Central city distance, 70 kilometers. Transport. Destination Central City. Six hours, 14 minutes, 42 seconds. Zoom sensor mode, motion detector. Rocket based ore transport, destination Central City.
Initiated. Experiments with upgrading sapiens to Homo technus resulted in the creation of emotionless drone soldiers. More machine than human, these sentries were a sad reminder of the failings of the constructs. Warning, power 
98%. Raise your work quotient above 200,000 and live to 900 years. Work hard towards immortality. Work hard for our race. Sow the seeds for the future of humanity. Homo technus is our goal, our dream. The universe will be ours. Biotech addicts are the first in line for immortality. No longer will the Watchers have dominion over who we are. Homo Technus is our goal, our dream. The universe will be ours. seconds.
how you like this. How am I supposed to do this? planetary shuttle became my most precious possession in the years to come. I eventually found her memory download capsule inside a navigational beacon. These beacons littered the hyperspace trade routes. Made of titanium plasma steel 8, these tiny memory capsules were embedded in the base of a human skull. When my mother was vaporized in the explosion, the only thing that survived was the capsule. I have lived through the memory download of my mother's life many times during my 6,000 years of stasis. Over and over, she lives and dies within me. Though I hardly knew her, I miss her terribly. I have glimpses of her earlier life on Earth, the great cities, the ancient architecture. What's your name? Mara. Hi, Mara. It's good to have you back. Mother spent her formative years dealing with her mind game addiction. She never spoke of my father, though I know he was there to help her overcome the addiction. I think you need a shower. Buried deep in my mother's memories, I glimpsed an Elite Seven time ship in the Los Angeles skies. I heard many rumors of time travelers visiting Earth. To my knowledge, many had tried, but none succeeded. Most of this technology was lost during the Mars Liberation War. I have to do this. All right. My mother and father had been together 57 years. They lived in many places. The mind game issue had plagued every major city across the earth. When the war began, 
addiction suppression drugs were made compulsory by the ruling military government. Got the new Infinity 8. Mm, yeah, everyone's on to it. Yeah. Preview. Do you have the warrior spirit to overcome the world of darkness? Then baptize your soul in the fires of hell with Infinity's Fantasy Dream 8. You are the mighty warrior Princess Azura who must do battle against your evil stepsister Cheyenne. Infinity's Fantasy Dream 8. Can you survive the fiery battle against her dark angels? Infinity's Fantasy Dream 8. Can you conquer the treacherous peaks of Mount Calamari? Infinity's Fantasy Dream 8. And how will you react when Cheyenne reveals the dark truth about your own father? Infinity's Fantasy Dream 8! Now with emotional interpretive technology, so you now have no memory of the pain and torment of the real world, leaving you free to be who you really are, the warrior goddess. Oh no no no, wait! There's more! I found traces of my mother's time on Earth. To many, Earth has become a myth. But to me, our beloved Earth, our birthplace, still exists in these memories. This is all we have left. A few weeks after I was born, the memories of my father were permanently erased. Someone high in the military had tampered with my mother's mind. From what I could piece together, Admiral Keyless's prejudice towards my mother was born out of guilt from 12 years prior. The Admiral ensured that my mother would have no memory of the betrayal. Regardless of this, the pain would always run deep through the complex memory strands of the human mind. The human mind was unknowable. It could never be mapped and never be destroyed. Something would always remain. My mother's life and my own are now intertwined. I am more her than my own self. My own experiments in time travel were geared towards warning humanity. My hope was that if I could change the past, I could change the future. I failed. My adventures through time and space stranded me in this place. My time crystal accelerator will not operate here. Time is slowing down and nothing can stop the inevitable. My name is Ivor T. Schweig of the New World Colony, born Earth 55 AD. My time crystal accelerator has malfunctioned and stranded me here. My craft is protected by an old gravity field. Any attempt to enter the field will awaken my stasis. Please, help me. Life support is stored. Motion stabilizer offline, ID scanners offline. Light batteries 6 and 8 have failed, and you've overslept. I've missed you. Status. You won't like it. 
You have been in stasis for 6,994 years, 28 days, 11 hours, 38 seconds. Energy reserves, 20 minutes of full power remaining, equivalent to 42 years in living stasis, and 108 years in emergency stasis. Just in time. And you have guests. Welcome aboard. I'm Cyrano, this is Cestus. Thank you. Just give me a moment. I've been living in stasis for... Yes, yes, a very long time. I was living through downloaded memory engrams. They've been in the family since 2048. 6,900 years of living other people's memories. The synaptic interface was breaking down. Yes, it would appear everything's breaking down. We're lost. Could you tell us where we are? 24th century combat issue. Mars Liberation War 2320. And where did you come upon an elite time ship? It was caught in the crossfire of a skirmish. It was watching us for days. There was acid gas everywhere, so we hidden it for shelter. It malfunctioned and brought us here, are we in a dark matter cloud? This is the end of time. The universe is collapsing in on itself. Private, do you have any idea what she's talking about? I think she knows more than she's letting on, sir. Yes. You are a billion, billion years in the future. Time is slowing down to nothing. I think she's, um... You're not the brightest star in the universe, are you? We need your star charts, your food supply, and your power modules. There's always someone like you to spoil my day. Enough talk. So, you're 24th century guys. Then you've never met a 33rd century guy. I am a genetically enhanced 24th century guy. Cestus is still waiting on his upgrades. Yep, still waiting. Move. I'm feeling much better. How enhanced are you? I am a level five. That got me going. Neutralize weapons, Mark. Thought you'd never ask. Four minutes, 20 seconds of life support remaining. Never mess with a 33rd century girl. Ivor, let me finish off this upstart. Now you're making me angry. Let me have them. Come on. If I had time, I would have to suffer. Hull Bridge. Hull Bridge on level 12. Life support failure in 30 seconds. Null gravity field failing. Stabilize our descent and prepare for slingshot maneuver. That old chestnut's not going to work. Come on, ship, don't fail me. Light thrusters offline. Options? No options. I've failed you. Open the radiation collectors. Collectors open. Power levels recharged. Status. Systems repairing. Estimate three hours for optimization. Activate null gravity field. Fire all light thrusters. <laughs> Intruder alert. 
Who are you? Are you addressing me? What are you? We were the Watchers. The Watchers? At one time. Yes, I've heard of you. And you, a proto-human being. The Watchers. You gave us dominion over a quarter of a galaxy. Then you vanished. We recall proto-humans squabbling over territory for an eon. Your ascended ancestors sought us out. For a time you were with us. Now you're lost again. What are you? Consciousness. Intelligence. Stripped of matter. We have existed this way for many eons. Matter in the universe was breaking down, so we shrugged it away. Physical life in the universe ended a long time ago. Then you are surprised to find me. Yes. And like all beings of matter, you're unfortunately a prisoner of matter. What do you mean? When all matter in the universe is returned to the source, it will collapse on itself and restart again. And where does that leave me? You're all that's left. With the universe's collapse, everything begins again. I have to die? As you have experienced life in this universe, it's our belief that perhaps you will live again in the next. I have the stored memories of a thousand years of human existence. I will not sacrifice it. What I have here is all that is left. Where will you go? We won't be going anywhere. I have found a new energy source. I could exist for another 10,000 years, maybe 100,000 years in stasis. Ivo, that's such a limited perspective. The proton storms you see are matter breaking down. If you do not return to the universe, the universe will not restart. Soon matter will dissipate, and the universe loses its chance to begin again. What you are saying is that unless we join with that giant ball of matter, the Big Bang may never occur? In your simple terms, yes. Don't believe what they say, Ivor. So it's all one big cycle. In a billion billion years, I'll be back here again talking to you about the same thing. Perhaps. Or perhaps your knowledge added to ours will survive the restart of the universe. Don't count on it. We have hope. You must have the same. No. It's been a refreshing conversation. Please, Iva, have faith. Trust us. Not so fast. I'm coming with you.
be different. Ivor, will I remember who I am? Will we be together? If you survive, remember me. Memory download capsule ejected. Radiation shield off. It is my hope that these memories will survive the restart of the universe. And you will remember who we were and how we lived.